Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. Understanding your sprocket configurations. Newton Crouch offers a variety of sprocket configurations. Inboard, outboard, standard spread rate, third rate, or half rate. It can be pretty confusing. And when you start moving those chains, you must get them right or you won't get the desired spread rate. Let's start with the difference between inboard and outboard sprocket configurations. Inboard sprockets have reduction rate sprockets on the inside of the drive wheel. These sprockets will be on the drive wheel shaft to alternate jack shaft and may be half rate or third rate. Outboard sprocket configuration the reduction rate sprockets are on the outside of the drive wheel. Both have the exact same sprocket ratios and spread capabilities. The inboard configuration gives you more compact clearance on the outside of your hopper. Forestry, Grove often have this type. Inboard reduction sprockets are on the inside of your drive wheel. The outboard configuration is chosen because of space limitations on the equipment. The chain that runs from your jack shaft to your rear roller is always on the inside of the drive wheel, whichever configuration you have. The next consideration is your rate. Do you want to spread low rates of fertilizer or seed? If so, you require half or third rate reduction kits. The reductions are exactly like they sound. A half rate kit spreads one half the standard rate. A third rate kit spreads one third the standard rate. Let's look closely at several different arrangements. If you have no reduction rate, there will be two chains installed. The drive wheel shaft to jack shaft will change depending upon whether you are spreading fertilizer or lime. The jack shaft to rear roller will stay the same. This is true for inboard or outboard. Here is an outboard configuration with no reduction kit. The chains are set for fertilizer. Drive wheel shaft to jack shaft is 12 to 80. The jack shaft to rear roller is 12 to 36. When discussing sprocket ratios, Start at the drive wheel shaft to jack shaft. This corresponds to the rate chart on the back of your spreader. If you want to spread lime, you would move the chains to 22 drive wheel shaft and 44 jack shaft. The jack shaft to rear roller chain is not visible, but it will not move. It is a constant. Now let's look at an inboard configuration with a third rate kit. Because we have a reduction kit, we have a jack shaft, an alternate jack shaft, and a drive wheel shaft. This diagram is showing how the chains will be set for the unit depending upon what you are spreading and your desired spread rate. The unit pictured is set for third rate fertilizer spreading. Look at the chart to the right. 12 drive wheel to 36 alternate jack shaft. 12 alternate jack shaft to 54 jack shaft. 12 jack shaft to 36 rear roller, which is the constant. If we spread standard rate fertilizer, we have two chains. 12 drive wheel to 54 jack shaft and 12 jack shaft to 36 rear roller. Look at the rate chart and you will see those sprocket ratios. If we spread lime, we have only two chains, but there are two rates available. 22 drive wheel to 44 jack shaft spreads a high rate of lime. 12 drive wheel to 54 jack shaft spreads a reduced rate of lime. 
And remember, the 12 jack shaft to 36 rear roller sprocket remains constant. Go to your chart, find the sprocket ratios that matches your spreader and your desired rate to determine your gate height and other constants. Let's take one more look at our inboard and outboard configurations. Both units have a third rate kit. Both units are set for medium rate fertilizer. Can you identify them? Remember, the location of the reduction rate sprocket is the determining factor of inboard or outboard. Start by locating the alternate jack shaft on both units. Now locate the reduction rate sprocket. Where is that sprocket in relationship to the drive wheel? Inside the drive wheel, outside the drive wheel. Inboard sprockets, outboard sprockets. If you are still not sure what sprocket configuration you have, as a last resort, you can always read your instruction book. There is a delivery and inspection sheet in the back of your book. It will indicate inboard or outboard and tell you if you have a reduction rate kit. Anytime you need to order parts, make sure you have your serial number. We have computerized the delivery and inspection sheets from 1994 to present. Our associates will help you get the correct part. We have as-built information on every unit. We hope this video has answered your questions. Technical assistance is available 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website www.newtoncrouch.com. Call us at 800-241-1350. A real person will answer the phone. No recorded menus. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you. Proudly made in America a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.